Hey guys, this topic is huge. Should you loan money to family? Whether it's yours or your in-laws, it can be a very tricky subject. Today, we're gonna talk about should you loan money to in-laws? And if you decide to help, how can you do so without lending them money? Welcome back to another edition of Marriage and Money Tips. I'm El Martinez, creator and host of Couple Money, a personal finance site, podcast, and now video channel that's focused on helping the two of you work as a team. And nothing can tear a part of marriage like family. And then when you throw money into the mix, it gets very stressful. And we've had to deal with this as a couple in our own marriage, and a lot of people have written in, it's actually one of the most popular episodes on the podcast years later, how do you help out family? How do you deal with this? And I've noticed that there are two main reasons why couples fight and there's a lot of tension. The first is you guys right now aren't in a position to financially help out. Now, I know, especially when it's your family or your spouse and their family, you have this instinct that you you want to help out when you can but there are some instances especially when you guys are deep in debt where you just don't have the circumstances and it's best for you to be upfront with your family on that right now we can't help you out we're in a tight spot ourselves and don't worry there will come a time when you'll have that ability to help out but sometimes that is the best answer you can give them that way if they have another solution or someone else that they can ask, they can do it sooner rather than later. The second one, and to be honest, the most common reason why couples fight over helping out family or not with money is that there's a question in one of your minds if it's really helping or if you're enabling. What do I mean by that? We've had family that had emergencies. I'm sure you have as well. There's unexpected job loss. Maybe a child got sick and they had some savings, but not enough to cover. And they're asking to see if you can help out. And in most cases, couples will give what they can to, to help the family out in a tight spot. But sometimes you might have a relative who constantly seems to be having some issues, who always has an emergency. So how can you tell if this is a case of, are we really helping them or are we enabling them? Well, I got three questions that you guys can talk about and figure out for yourselves what's the best option. The first one is, is this the first time they've asked for help? It sounds a little harsh, but hear me out. Sometimes when you're in the thick of it, when it's your family or when your spouse is dealing with their family, it's hard to have a clear head. It feels like an emergency comes up and immediately they need help now. And so they're not thinking straight or you're not thinking straight. But if you're the one that's asking the question, this is a good one to start off with. Is this the first emergency they have? It could be that they don't have a plan to deal with emergencies. They're people that don't have budgets and they kind of fly by the seat of their pants and when something happens, they expect you to pick up. So talk about that. Is this the first time? And be honest with it. And I understand sometimes bad circumstances happen, but this is just one question to talk it over. The second is, what exactly is this emergency? And the reason I asked is when we're dealing with emergencies, we all have our own definitions of what an emergency is, but the general rule of thumb is this is some, something unexpected and it is outside of what you can plan. So for example, a job loss, you probably have some money saved aside, but is this something where they've quit another job and they're asking you some money until they can find another one? Is this a situation where they didn't plan out their budget? and it kind of happens every few months that they're asking you, sit down and ask them quickly, just what exactly is the situation, what's going on? And if they're evasive, that's a red flag because if you want to help them out, they understand you guys have your own circumstances and situations. 
So talk it over with them and see what's going on. And, and finally, the last question you can ask and talk over is if you can't help them out, what exactly is their plan for this emergency? And you might find that they actually don't have a plan. It was all about relying on you as their safety net. Or it could be that they do have other people in their support network that they can ask. Maybe they have a backup plan that they can go to. The reason you want to know this is, again, are you enabling and helping them out by kind of being their emergency fund? Or is this a situation where they are trying to deal with it the best way possible? So hopefully those three questions will give you a better idea. Are you really helping them or are you enabling them? Well, maybe you guys decide that you want to help them out, but lending money still isn't something you would rather do. And I understand there's several great reasons for that. Again, you know, looking at your circumstances, you might not have that out there. So let me give you three ideas on what you can do to help out without loaning them money. The first one is give them a small gift. Maybe they're asking you for $1,000 or $2,000, an emergency has popped up. Well, look at your circumstances and say, unfortunately, we don't have that much money to help out, but we do have 200, 300, or whatever amount you have that you can give as a gift and just let them be. And hopefully that would be something that they can use for their emergency fund or to take care of bills. Make sure though, it's an amount that you can feel comfortable with never seeing again. And this doesn't mean that they're distrustful or they're trying to be dishonest, but sometimes circumstances happen and you don't want that tension to be there next time you hang out as family. Well, is, am I going to get paid back? What's going on? Just give them a smaller gift of what you can lose and say, hey, we can't loan you any money, but we do have this. This is a gift. We know it's an emergency. Hope this helps. The second thing you can do is help them out with budgeting. I know that sounds a little nerdy, but maybe it is a situation where they do want to get better. And you can say, I don't have the money right now, but maybe I can help you out with budgeting. And if they don't feel comfortable giving the numbers and that's their right, then you can give them a copy of the budget that you guys have. Not with your own numbers, but maybe a template. And that can be enough for them to say, okay, I need to start getting serious about my finances. Finally, you can point them to different resources that they can use. Of course, you know, if they're married, you can point them out to the site, but there's also a lot of free information out there, ways that they can save, find, even make some money. Like for example, my five days to 5K course, that's completely free. And that can give them ideas on how they can quickly come up with some money for an emergency and maybe start preparing for um, ahead of time should something else come up. So there you guys have it. I know it's hard dealing with family and you want to help them out, but you guys are fighting amongst yourselves. I don't want that to be a wedge in your marriage. So sit down, start having conversations. And then let me know in the comments, have you guys ever had to deal with this? If so, how did you handle this situation? I hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget, if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe so you can get the latest money and marriage tips here. I hope you have a great week. Take care.